they're basically saying, oh, she's sick, so we have to charge her more for her medicine and more to be healthy. And I don't know, I just think it's not fair. Patients with pre-existing conditions like 13-year-old Victoria Vitelli are bracing for drastic changes under the Republican plan to repeal and replace Obamacare. It's our lives, it's our health. She misses school when she's ill, she misses school for treatment, and if she doesn't get treatment, she can get worse. So whether it's political or the numbers or anything, it's her life at stake. Vitelli was diagnosed with juvenile rheumatoid arthritis at age eight, and under the new bill, her medical treatments and coverage could skyrocket. She joined two of New Jersey's federal lawmakers at Hackensack University Medical Center to share her worries. The legislation could leave 24 million Americans without coverage, 500,000 here in New Jersey. That according to the Congressional Budget Office. We all stand willing to improve the Affordable Care Act, but we do not stand idly by to let it be slayed. Millions of people's lives are at stake. The American Health Care Act, as it's called, eliminates the individual and employer mandate requiring people to buy insurance through the marketplace and the tax penalty for failing to do so. But it also replaces the ACA subsidies to pay for insurance with refundable tax credits, primarily based on age, charging significantly more for older Americans. It ends the Medicaid expansion funding, which extended coverage to more than 10 million low-income Americans under Obamacare. It weakens coverage coverage for essential health benefits. These are things like maternity care, mental health, and prescription plans. Bottom line, younger, healthier people will likely see their premiums decline, while older patients will see them rise, with less money to help pay for coverage. I assure you this is repeal. There is no replacement. The people are going to lose their insurance. They're going to pay more. Debate on the House floor was fiery yesterday. Two New Jersey Republicans voted in favor. Representative Rodney Freelingheisen and South Jersey Congressman Tom MacArthur, the chief architect of a waiver program to give states more flexibility while also opening the door to increase prices for patients with pre-existing conditions. I'm proud to stand with a president who has a different answer, a president who trusts the states and ultimately trust the American people. What are you doing now to speak with some of your Republican counterparts in the Senate side? I did talk, I did talk to some, uh, and uh, some have taken the attitude that they're going to start right from the beginning again. Well, we never had a hearing on this legislation. Where is the media talking about that? We had no discussions. We had no hearings on this thing. We voted yesterday. It's bull. This is how they do things in Russia. The bill still has to get through the Senate, where it faces a less than certain future and many likely revisions. An emotional Senator Menendez today vowed to keep it from reaching the president's desk. I am going to do everything and I mean everything to make sure this isn't the result. In Hackensack, Brianna Venosi, NJTV News.